We do have a new member of the pain train today, our touristy looking walking STD vaccine that won the last disease challenges here, Whitney Alaragagagaga. What the hell was her name? Oh, it is Whitley Ariagagagagaga. She was able to stave off a disease that even killed Florida and Australian man, so I'm sure she'll do quite nicely here. Hey, listen, I got a brand new shelter prepared for you guys to escape the apocalypse. Have fun. Hey, Death. Death, where you at, brother? Can we get this taken care of? And where the hell did my tentacle monster go? Did that guy eat it before he died? So, I think what happened here is this death made people congregate from all over the house where they have experienced a wide variety of stupidly enhanced emotions. And now we're gonna start seeing a bunch of random deaths all in front of this area. Ariaga God just fell asleep. She's still alive. Whitley is still alive. I told you. This girl is a juggernaut. Australian man is still here. LSD and Whitley. Everyone else from the original group is dead. I like how everyone here is having something to eat and Tonsils is like, feed me for God's sakes. She may be dying of overexertion right now, but she's dying with a low body fat count. Whitley, you're in the top three again. <laughs> this is smart. Whitley's asleep. Usually Sims don't die when they're asleep. And with her death, that means that somehow Whitley is the winner again. And she doesn't look happy about it. She's like, I'm so depressed. Why do I keep existing through all of these tests? Whitley is pissed because she keeps being the last Sim alive on like every single test we do. And she just can't stand it anymore. She's like, I never thought I'd be so pissed off at being alive. Oh my God. It is just total chaos. There are now two different people on fire. There are now four different people on fire. I thought this whole time that the elders would probably be the ones to lose, but now it's totally possible that the young folks might catch up. Legit, the young folks are doing everything they can to get that KD ratio up because they were so far ahead. God, this kitchen is a kitchen of death. Everyone that comes in here dies. I don't even know at this point who, who this fire belongs to. I mean, it's 50-50, it's the young folks side. I don't know where the hell Whitley went. She disappeared to thin air. Oh, hey, Whitley Araragagaga identified the guppy. Good for her. Whitley has gained the dancing skill. She's not dancing. She's playing around on her cell phone. Whitley right now is tense from being an alcoholic. This is what happens when they don't drink, by the way, due to the mod. They slowly freak out until they finally get drunk. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There are things happening behind this bar that I really don't know how to describe. There's things happening over in the karaoke area that I don't know how to explain either. Just yikes. The death is uh, starting to come fast and furious. Luckily, Whitley is still alive at least. Speaking of which, Babel Ross, God no. Wait, did Whitley is dying from embarrassment. This is like the first time Whitley's died in one of these. As more of the bricks disappear, more of the Sims go from being thick to this. This is Whitley. She's lost like 40 pounds. Look at her. She's like, this is either the first time Whitley Ariagagagagagaga has gotten with a guy or it's just the first time I caught it. And there they go. There's only like seven people left. Whitley, please don't cook. I don't need the house burning down for like the 80th time. Okay. These two monsters of woohooing murder are finally going at it together. But who will survive? I like how right afterward, he just fell asleep. Like they just got done and he's out. I just heard the death music. She's gonna end up dying from this. No, Whitley, you lasted for so long. Australian man claims yet another life. He's like, oh, it wasn't me. The thing I think that's really amazing me is Whitley is the person that is currently in first place and she is super chipper. Look at this confident walk. She's like, God, torture, pain, depression. I love this shit. Whitley, what the, what the shit are you doing? What the hell was that? She just walked through like 30 different hedges. Oh God, that is hideous. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, guys, remember how I said this is like uh, the Highlander and there can be only one? There can be only one, Bab. There can be only one. <laughs> you too, Ellis. Get off your damn cell phone. You know what time it is. Goodbye, LSD. Goodbye, Australian man. <laughs> you too, Whitley. I think the best part about this is that Florida man died on his own. Like, I didn't actually have to kill him for this. He just disappeared out of the entire game. 
All right, this is gonna be like the bathroom area over here. We have some sinks, a nice open air shower. I'm sure a bunch of these Sims are like, great, why is the shower open air? I have a question. Entertainment. That's, that's really, that's really the only reason. We need a couple of toilets in here. I like how one of the objects for the bees is disturb. Why would you disturb the bees? Whitley, you know what to do. Whitley's like, Jesus Christ, why me? She, she just freaking slaps the shit out of them. That's amazing. They did absolutely nothing to her. She gets along so well with inhuman beings. What, what are you, Whitley, what are you doing? What the hell? <laughs> Florida man is sleeping in a tent, but Whitley has decided to increase her natural immune system by sleeping inside of a dumpster. LSD is drowning to death. How? Why? Why is this happening? This is like the smallest pool on the entire property. Australian man was swimming with sharks and he lived and LSD is just swimming in the U and F U and she is dying. She's like, yes, a life without power is one I don't want to deal with. Goodbye, cruel world. I like how Whitley is literally just paddling over LSD's dead body. And she's like, something feels odd. It's almost like this water is filled with the overpowering sense of death. Like a true homemaker, Whitley is doing the laundry over here while slowly starving to death. Spleen's just straight up went unconscious in the background. Another day of eating Fruit Loops. It looks like Whitley is coming over here to feed the fish. And by the fish, I mean the sharks. Yeah. Here's a nice whole fish for you. Whitley's over here making a wish. She's like, I wish I wasn't here anymore. I want to trade places with LSD. So something just happened pretty spontaneously. This lady came over and she's like, yeah, I have a uh, package for Whitley. Oh, shit. Look at this face. She's like, I feel like this is something I should probably call my supervisor about. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I like that Whitley could be using the bathroom right now, but she'd rather come over to the computer and make a social media profile. I never realized that the desktop screensaver was just like a giant beach. She's like, how the hell did Florida man get his goddamn background on this computer? Now Whitley is uploading a viral video. It involves her in her younger days when she was a blonde. You can see as she rips a man's eyeball out of his skull. Viral material if ever I saw it. Whitley is the real deal. She's got 70 followers. She is now in the lead. I like this. Whitley is trending. She's like, if there's one thing the world loves, it's watching a woman tear the eyeball out of a man's skull. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Whitley is like legit going for it. She's like the only Sim that never leaves the computer so far. What the hell is that on the forum over here? Is that like a picture of bootleg spleens? 95 followers for Whitley now. It's amazing that two people can be sitting like eight feet from one another and yet there's absolutely no social interaction happening. This is the most realistic experiment I think I've ever done. Stop complaining, just talk to this plant. I literally have three people crying into the cameras. Three, all three people are just sobbing uncontrollably as they make social media videos. Bab is over here. She's like, I look like a mixture between Bob Ross and Bruce Lee. What do you want from me? I like how I've literally given the Sims everything possible that they could ever want to make good food. And Whitley's over here eating spoiled chicken. Hey Whitley, what does that taste like? She's like, salmonella. All right, y'all are spending a lot of time around this area and you keep pissing on the floor. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of this whole thing. Yeah. What the hell was that? What, what did you just, are you having an aneurysm on camera? Well, did anyone, did anyone get this on video so we can upload this? Death is over here. He's like, hell yeah, I got it on video. Okay, Bab managed to upload the video of Whitley's death. At least someone took advantage of this. Anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and leave you with this. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.